Hey everyone, welcome back. Austin here. I'm in our Cooker Catch kitchen today, and we're going to be making fireweed jelly. These are the fireweed flowers that you can see our friend Barbara uh, showed you how to forage. And I saved a little bit just to show you what they look like, how vibrant and bright they are. Um, and what I've done is taken about two and a half cups of packed fireweed flowers and poured boiling water over them and let that sit overnight in the refrigerator. And that's gonna extract the maximum amount of flavor and color from the flower. So for our jelly, it's very simple. We're gonna strain the fireweed water into a pot, bring it to a boil with our pectin, a little butter and lemon juice, and then we're gonna finish with our sugar. So first step, I'm gonna strain our fireweed flowers into a pot. You can see it already has a beautiful purple color. And that color is going to change when we introduce the acid to it. It's always best to maximize the amount of liquid by just giving it a little press. So we have our fireweed water in our about medium sized saucepan here. And we are going to add our lemon juice, just about a teaspoon or so. You can see that actually brightens it into a beautiful pink color. We're going to add just about a half teaspoon of butter. The stove is on high as well as about three tablespoons of pectin. Stir to combine and we're gonna let this come to a boil. So our liquid is starting to boil. You can see everything is nicely combined. The pectin has dissolved in there and it's even a little bit more viscous. So that tells us that the pectin is doing its job. And we're gonna bring that up to the boil just for about one minute. Add our three cups of sugar, boil for another minute and then we're gonna check the consistency of the jelly. So it's been a minute. I'm gonna add our three cups of sugar next. So we're getting our sugar to fully dissolve. You can see the shine that it created when we added the sugar. It's also gonna help thicken it a little bit, but it's also main purpose is to sweeten this up. So it's coming to a boil and I'm gonna let it boil just about for one minute and then we'll be ready to put it in our jars. So a little trick uh, before you put all this into your jars is to take a, a little bit and put it on a plate and put that in your refrigerator or freezer. And that way you'll see what your consistency of the jelly is before you can it all and are unhappy with how it may have turned out. So I left the plate in the fridge for just about a minute or so. And you can see that it has become solid and we're ready to put this in the jar. The so last step would be to let your sanitized jar cool and then can it as you would salmon, pickles, or any other item. So I'm going to give it a little taste as well. It's really good. It's sweet. It's floral. The lemon juice really helps. Um, to brighten things up. Fireweed has many culinary uses. Today we made the jelly and it's, it's excellent. Even doing a pepper jam with the fireweed jelly and putting that on cedar plank salmon and so many uses. Uh, the fireweed you can make teas with, vinegars, shrubs. So it's very versatile and it's a, a lovely color. So hopefully if you're here in July or August and you're lucky enough to pick some fireweed or try it with us in the Cook Your Catch, uh, we'd love to show you how it tastes.